Welcome back to the channel. Wait. Hey, honey buns. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here ever, welcome for the first time. Thank you for joining. Let me check to make sure my mic is on. But did y'all catch that? I called y'all honey buns. Can we talk about the significance of honey buns? Because I've been saying honey all the time. And now I'm saying honey buns because that was the only pastry I liked as a child. So it just seemed like a fit. But if you are here, be sure to say hi in chat so I can say hello to you. Let me see who we have. I'm just I'm going to start with, I think I opened the chat at Goddess Queen Cherokee. Francesco, C. Macy, H.W., Stacy, Silvana, Carmi, J.K. Pop fan, Money, William, Sil oh, I said Silvana, Tasia, Tara, Sad Girl, Brian, Alex, Alex Ash, Dreamy Jazz, M.K., Mira, Stacy, Keezy, Destiny, Yo Yo, Pink Cloud, Felicia, Money, Nuggets, Sis. I saw Tony say he was first, and he was not first. Leah, Bethany, Nicosi, Deontia, Von Von, William. I said William. I think I caught up. How you guys doing? Happy Wednesday. How are we all? I wore a baggy shirt today because I'm a man in Second Life still. So I'm still my here. But welcome to Second Life 101. If you've never joined us for Second Life 101, basically we, it's kind of catered toward, toward, hey Lala new residents, but um, I, I always feel like I'm learning something. So one, if you are a seasoned resident, you will probably have some expertise to share. If you have some, please drop it in the chat. Um, tonight's topic, so we're gonna kind of talk about role play. I honestly didn't know what I wanted to be. Oh, Tony is jealous of other Tony, having the name Tony. But I didn't know, I wanted to do something on role play. I feel like we've done a couple of videos on it. I'll link those somewhere here. We've done a couple of videos on Zeo Life, on BU, on SML. But I kind of wanted to show things holistically and like what are some of the like businesses and jobs you can do for role play. And I thought it'd be cool to kind of show you in Bayside because we have a bunch of places where you can make money just for role playing. And also, where he at? Didn't I ask Steel to send me over the landmark to his place? Did he do it? Or he probably sent it to Mila and I'm not on Mila. So there's another sim called Hollywood I want to check out. So hopefully he's around. I should message him. Happy hump day to you too. Thank you, Nikosi. I'm fabulous, thank you. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Paige. These lashes are in my Amazon shop. Oh, I don't have it linked. Let me drop a link real quick because I keep forgetting to link it. But every time I go live, I list all of the stuff on Amazon that I got. I'm absolutely addicted to Amazon. It's probably a problem. Um, so I have a little affiliate store. So FYI, I do make a small, a small amount of money if you make any purchases from the Amazon shop. But I put all my lashes in there, all my wigs. This is the black wig. You'll see it in there. It's just in another color. Hey, Destiny. All right, shall we dive in? How we doing? Let's see. You guys have been with me all day today. I was with a lot of you guys on um, Instagram today. Where did Tony go? Tony, weren't you standing next to me? I was trying to have Co Tony like be Mahir's sidekick, and he abandoned us. But anyway, I'm back on Mahir. If you're waiting for Mila, sorry. Mahir just felt right for the night. I did get a new computer. I didn't plug it in yet. I haven't done any of that. It has to wait till the weekend when I have some time for it. So if we lag a little today, we're going to lag a little today. I'm sorry. Let me turn down my graphics, actually. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Nadia. Do we need some use ass? I'm not going to deafen you like I did in yesterday's video. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Relax. I said I wasn't gonna deafen you, but I deafened me. <laughs> we need Mahir tonight. Our nip nop husband. He has his little nip nops a little covered. Look at Tony. Relax. Relax. Take it down fifteen notches, please, sir. 
we didn't get our other our other video boo <laughs> cutie with the the pretty mouth <laughs> uh, people don't love me back all right let me let's see if you can even hear that i always put on trap music every time we have my here on stream oh oh husband husband battle all right hold on i low-key i think i'll start off in the restaurant so you guys know in second life role play is the thing i did a video on role play essentially this is when you kind of like assume a character and do different activities um you can do anything i'm not going to focus on the adult side because i know that is like one of the most popular ways to make money from role play is to work as in, in the adult side of the grid um and doing some sort of sex work i'm not going to focus on that today i have a I have multiple videos on it if you want to check it out go check them out but when i talk about other jobs that you could possibly have with role play there are so many like there are lots of restaurants um around the grid we have a couple on Bayside, so I'm just going to show you guys those. But there are so many different restaurants, and they all do different things. I know there's another one by, like, the Mocha's Corporation. I forget the actual name of the restaurant, but it's a really cute one. And a lot of restaurants pay you – some pay you by the hour. Some are just tips only. Um, some are just a booking fee. So I'm just going to show you what we have at Faith and Flower and, like, some of the ways you can make money there. If you're not a person who likes to apply to jobs or have a schedule or anything like that, I'll show you some of the other places where you can just, like, pop in a role play whenever you want. Thank you, Nadia. It's, I'm lagging terribly. We all know I needed a new computer. I got one. It's in the box. It's coming out this weekend. <laughs> so I'm just going to struggle my way over here. I know. I left my hair shirt off. Luckily, Tony owns a store. And I went to Tony's store first. And I was like, look, I need my hair a little more naked than this. So men's, if you need clothes, Hebo has clothes. Do people notice me in real life? Like what? What do you mean? I'm, I'm tall, so they definitely see me. <laughs> I'm tall and I'm not loud in real life. But I'm tall, I got big hair. I'm usually dressed very loud. I think people see me. Okay. Let me get some things rezzed. While I get this res, a little just like background on Faith and Flower, I opened up the restaurant before we had Bayside. So I actually just moved. So the Vanderbilt was like its own sim. I moved it over here to Bayside. But to work here, we basically hire waitresses. That's just like the general role, but you can also work as a bartender. Um, and usually for this, a lot of the staff work sets. So you can sign up and just work a set. You come in, you grab a tip jar, you kind of hang out, you send a message to the group to let them know you're there. You see who pops in. Or you could be paged specifically, so you can start to build up like a clientele. I, I kind of wanted to do it here because I think we have a couple, we have some new staff here that, you know, I ain't never trained. Sorry, y'all. I just threw you in and say you'll figure it out. <laughs> but let's get some things to res. And let's check out Zara. Zara's our bot here. Y'all know I love bots. If you need to figure out how to configure bots for your own spaces, I have a video on it. So go check it out. Ooh. Hey Ray, hey B. B been saying Mahir been cheating on her, so now y'all gotta fight B for Mahir. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let me switch screens. All right, I feel like it's gonna take forever to res. My frame rate is like negative <laughs> one. But anyway, you can see back here. So as an employee here, you get like a little page board behind the register. And they also, we have um, tip jars there at the bar, but you click on the tip jar, it comes out, it floats over your head. And basically when you're role playing, like as a wait, you're, you're a waitress or you're a bartender. Bartenders is kind of like loose role play. It's mostly chatting, but when you're like a waiter or a waitress, you're actually serving people. So you're using those same like role play mechanics in Second Life, like using the slash me, and you're describing your actions. Um, one thing I really like when I go to a Second Life restaurant is if the waiter walks away. I've gone to a couple and they've been quite uncomfortable when the waitress just stands next to your table the whole time and you're like, 
can you go away? I want to talk to the people I'm with. <laughs> but um, what I usually do, so, or what I did, because I, I do still role play here on my alt sometimes. If we have a customer, basically for us, they pay a flat fee to actually be seated. They pay that first, get your money first. If you can take nothing from the stream, get your money first <laughs> for any services, role play services, you can't refund your time. So like get your money first. And once you have the money, you sit them at a table and you start them off kind of like as you would at a restaurant. I personally never worked at a restaurant, so I thought it would be really cool to do. So you go over, you get them seated, you give them menus. I mean, you're not really passing them anything. The menus are on the table, but yeah, that's Tony back there. First of all, Tony was hating on my head, Bob. He don't know. Yeah, so this is based on tips. So for us, there's a flat fee for a party of four or a party of two to four. It's 400 Linden. Um, larger parties is 200 per person. And then tips. So people usually pay the flat rate for the table. So that's, that's what you just have to pay to get seated and have a meal. I gotta turn this down a little bit. I'm gonna start yelling. But um, so yeah, for us, 400 for like parties of two to four, larger parties, 200 per person. Um, and then a lot of times if it's good and people like what you do, they'll also tip you, honey, they'll also tip you on top of that. So it's nice and that's per table. So usually what a lot of people do, it's still a hustle game. I feel like I need to, we gotta be seeing Mahira's face. We can't just be looking at Mahira's back right now. What was the point of having him on? But um, what's usually nice, so yeah, it's a hustle game. So when you do any type of like role play as a business, it's still a hustle game. So they hustle. Um, usually what people do that work here, they'll come here and they'll drop a message in our Faith and Flower group. So you can send a notice, you can send an IM. They also have the option of sending it out to the Bayside City group because those are people that usually just frequent the sim. And they'll, they'll you get creative. That's the one thing I think about role play, um, the other man is Tony. <laughs> the one thing that's really good about, what was I saying? Blacked out, let's take a sip. <laughs> hey honey, hey playboy, or Vernon, Takarian. There's two, Tony, why are you going astray? Come stand next to me. You know all we want to look at is eye candy for the whole stream. My hair has been making friends. <laughs> But yeah, so, um, thank you, Brianna, for the sub. Nadia, Mahir will be in town for a couple minutes after stream. Be sure to come meet him. Add him if you want to, Mahir Vanderbilt. What was I saying? Damn, y'all, I'm sorry for, the, like, the lack of attention span. I got one hour of sleep last night. I don't know. Oh, the group. So message the group. So you're, you still got to hustle. Anytime you have basically a role play service that you're selling, you have to really have some marketing savvy. So it's really good to promote yourself. So I recommend, of course, using the group for wherever you work, Faith and Flower. We have Faith and Flower group and we have Bayside group. Um, most restaurants will have a group because that's how you kind of organize your peeps. If you own the restaurant, I strongly recommend that you have a group. One thing that we did in Faith and Flower to really encourage people to join the group is we require you to join the group to sit. The group is totally free. Um, oh, in real life, notice me from YouTube. No, I, I don't. I feel like I am several hundred thousand of subscribers away from anyone noticing me in real life, <laughs> especially during quarantine. Um, but yeah, if you're, you're opening a restaurant, I recommend a group. We restrict all of our seating to the group. So that encourages people to join. Granted, they can leave if they want to. A lot of people stick around. And when you are sending notices, I would recommend getting creative. Like think about what draws your attention when you're in Second Life. Um, like instead of saying like, Hey, I'm at the restaurant, come over, you know, you can say, you could be super creative. It's role play. So you're, you're appealing to people who want you to bring some sort of story alive for them. So saying like, Hey, you know, Faith and Flowers open, our brunch specials are whatever you can think of <laughs> and throw that in there. I used to love seeing notices like that. Notices like that always get my attention. I used to, when I did it, always used to make some sort of visual. So I would create like a little tiny specials menu and attach it to the notice so people could open that up and see it. And it's super cute. He's being so extra. He does have to pee. He's been eating oxtails all day. 
Is it Lucius? Lucius? Lucius, you explained Ram so well to me. I was like, I get it. <laughs> but um, so that's my recommendation. Get creative. If you work at Faith and Flower currently, or if you're applying to Faith and Flower, get creative. Don't just like say you're at the restaurant because you know, sometimes people will have been wanting to go and they'll come out, but honestly, the creativity really draws people. Oh Lord, Nadia. I hope, I hope not, because I'm in front of a whole lot of people at work all the time, so I hope none of them notice me. <laughs> I'm drinking water and crystal light, as always. <laughs> it's never exciting. Um, so yeah, get creative. Always communicate with as many people as possible. Also build a network. So one thing that I think is super important if you're making any type of like role play hustle, keep in touch with the people that you serve. So if you have a great party or, you know, a couple that comes in to eat with you or dine with you, maybe pass them a calling card, pass them a note card. Like, you know, if you ever need a server or a waitress for your next meal, here's my calling card. Feel free to get in touch. Um, it's also nice to have like little add-ons. So, right, the one thing that is super common in the adult side of things when it comes to role play services is having a note card with your like different rates and things. Um, <laughs> Michaela, girl, join Discord. Hey, Lazy B. Um, Y'all like oxtails? I don't like oxtails. I don't like anything though. <laughs> But yeah, have a note card of different services. So even at Faith and Flower, our base services are just sitting down and eating. But you could do all types of things. You could offer like brunch specials. You could offer like happy hour. You could offer something special with the VIPs. Like right now, guests, if they come here, they pay $150 Linden for a VIP booth. And then they also pay you. But you can make something special. Say you wanted to help them host a taco night or help them host a wine tasting because we have all of that set up here. Um add those different rates on your rate card just like make it super fun and exciting i think we haven't seen that much creativity with servers here but you really have a lot of freedom to do that so i would recommend that especially if you're working anywhere that allows it like if you're working anywhere that has that level of flexibility just go ahead and like get creative throw it like your own events too i remember i used to throw this like sushi rolling class and i would get all the sushi stuff and just res it out at their table and it was super cute all right, I'm gonna lag for a minute. I'm gonna lag less when I get away from this. <laughs> yes, build a relationship. Still, I was just talking about you. I'm on my here, so I didn't get, I don't know if you sent me a landmark. Yeah, I only like water. I drink nearly two gallons of water a day, but here's his name. Still, if you're on, cause I wanna stop at your sim. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to stop lagging. Again, his frame rate is literally 0.59. Those oxtails do have him hype. Those oxtails had him feeling a different type of way a few minutes ago, though. All I'm saying. <laughs> he gonna punch me in the face. Hey, Tashi. All right, so this is Faith and Flower. It's like one of our VIP booths. We have these all throughout the restaurant. Um, down here and upstairs, you can click this like service menu and you get all these features. So this right here is like a taco cart. If guests click on this, they'll get tacos to actually hold and eat, but there are a bunch of different options configured in this. If it if it reacts to me clicking on it. <laughs> Tony, don't wow me. I'll try it again later. But basically the setups, we have taco night, we have happy hour, bottle service. We have like a Valentine's Day one, which is just a romantic setup. Uh, we have birthday. Oh yeah, I figure you probably sent it to Mila. <laughs> What's it called? Just put me the, um, or put the name of the sim. Cause also Mahir, I don't know his actual password and he's not logged in in Black Dragon, so he can't search. But yeah, so those come out. We call the little butler dude here, Jeffrey. I know it's not Rez, but that's something you can get creative with, with your role play. Um, if you want to like add something else, so say you want to actually also own different servers. So like they sell so many food trays and so many servers that you can hold. So if you want like a full role play experience for taco night and you want to host that, 
you can get creative and do that. Another thing, Faith and Flower, waitresses and waiters have the ability to res, so you can res whatever you want to for your set as long as you clean it up. So I would say get creative. Anything with role play business, you want to get as creative as possible and offer like as cool of an experience as possible. Um, this is upstairs. So this is like the large party table. If you can get yourself a large party, it's worth it. Also, it's worth it to get multiple tables. So right, you're at 200 a person per table. If you have like three or four tables and you're rotating amongst them in an hour, you can make some cute change just role playing. And most of the role play because they're just going to enjoy their meal. Honestly, you're checking in with them, you know, every few minutes or so. You don't have to stand next to them. You can walk away to the kitchen and do your thing. But we have another one of those service tables over here. Like if I were to click that, there are a bunch of different tables that can come out. Yeah, uh -oh. Juice Network Studios, gotcha. Oh my gosh. Come on camera. This restaurant also is equipped for BU, but I no longer cook BU. So if you are someone who likes to cook for BU, you can sell products here. I got nervous for a second thinking the, that half of the building was really gone. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Oh my God, honey bee, yes. But yeah, there are BU tables here. There's a BU bar downstairs. If you actually work here and walk through this door, there's a BU kitchen. For BU, you have to like cook on your own kitchen, but you could always res your kitchen, cook, and do your thing. I'm actually delete one of the kids, because I think I have two down right now. Oh, jeez. Oh, actually, no, this is my hair. He can't delete Mila stuff. Nope. So for Faith and Flower, you don't have to be a Bayside resident. You just have to apply. This is one of the only ones that you do have to apply because they're guaranteed services, right? So people come in, they pay you a very specific rate and they expect good service. So we like to screen all the people that are here. But I'm going to show you some of the other businesses around Bayside where you don't have to apply. You could just come in and work whenever you want to. But honestly, it's still the marketing is kind of on you. Um, so, you know. There could be a mari mariachi band. Like you could put that in a rate card and be like, we will, we will serenade you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna like try to walk out of here. Are we, we lagging, lagging. I was gonna actually try to put my, so I found out I perform better when I put my viewer on my actual monitor and not just sitting on my laptop, but I didn't have time to like rearrange my camera. Oh, welcome back, Mohammed. All right, it's gonna take me 47 minutes to get out of here. There's also Lab, so if you're a Faith and Flower employee, you have the option to also work at Lab. So Lab is like a gaming bar and your tip jar will take you, it'll follow you over here. So you can always keep your tip jar on. This is kind of set up in a way that looks like you could serve here. But for here, it would be like a really specialized service. Like you would want to have some sort of like food trays or drink trays to serve people as they're gaming. Um, and on the third floor, there's actually a bar. So you could totally bartend up here. And for actual Vanderbilt employees, there are tip jars that are behind all the bars. So there's tip jars behind this bar. There's tip jars behind the bar at Faith and Flower as well. And all of this is Zeo Life enabled, so there's also like public restrooms everywhere just in case you have to. <laughs> the police. Mahir, I think, is a cop here. I gotta write him back into the story in Bayside. Alright. Oh, you know what I could do? Let's turn off Depth of Field. We don't need all these fancy things on right now. Turn that off. Turn our draw distance down. All right. Um, so this over here, this is a Roma Cafe. Again, if you're a Vanderbilt employee, you could serve over, serve over here and make tips because your tip jar will just follow you over here. If you're not looking to make money, you just want to kind of role play, you can always sit at either of those little stands. You'll get Zeo Life stats for doing it. Um, Whatever your heart desires. <laughs> Honestly, I've been seeing so many people make friends in the Discord server. I wouldn't know how to otherwise, because I don't go many places other than Bayside, to be honest. 
Yeah, laptop. My laptop struggle is real. All right, I'm gonna come over to this food truck area if I can. Wait. Hey, Persephone. Yeah, I feel like I see a lot of you guys building friendships um, in Discord. I'm gonna make a channel for it next month. So I always change the channel or the server up at the beginning of the month. I didn't do it in November because I was traveling and I forgot. So I'm just gonna wait till December 1st and then I'm gonna create all the new channels. All right, whew, honey. So this is our little food truck area. Now this, I mean, this is a Bayside thing, but again, it's not specific to Bayside. I feel like it's a cool idea to have anywhere. Um, so here, basically, we have all these different food trucks where you can rent and sell your own products. And if you choose to, you can come here and role play. So this one I'm looking at, I think this is Mally's. So she actually sells items that are compatible with Zeolife, but she also has invited people if they want to like come here and make tips that they're welcome to. So you can always do something as simple as this. Um, for somewhere in Bayside, it's always we always recommend like if you want to meet people or actually attract people to like look like you're working somewhere because people are more apt to come up to you versus if you're just standing around somewhere. Um, but this is always something where you could put actual products to make money and you can also, you know, work here like as a service and you're role playing, <laughs> excuse me, a food truck person um, or even serving people at the table. Yeah, I feel like intimate events like that are easy to make friends. Parties and clubs, sometimes no. All right, I'm gonna slow down for two seconds because I feel like my viewer is just catching up. And I lost Tony, sorry, Tony. <laughs> B's over here trying to blackmail me for child support. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show you a couple other things too that are pretty cool. And again, I'm focused on Bayside right now because that's where I am, but these are general things in SL that pretty much like every single community sim does. So as soon as you find a community sim you really like, you could do all this type of stuff. I'm also gonna talk about stuff that you can do that kind of transcends a sim that you could just do anywhere you want to. Thank you, Nala. I know, I'm, I'm low key in love with him. I was looking up all these definitions for what it means to be attracted to an avatar and then also be attracted to yourself. <laughs> Because I was like, that explains my relationship with my hair. Look at him looking back at us. Look at him. Look at that curve in his back, honey. Keep walking, sir. What are you looking at? I can't. <laughs> Tony is. He's picking up his order of oxtails. If my hair does not stop looking at us and walk forward. Okay, maybe I'll just cam Bayside Medical. So this is another one, um, medical, like doctors, nurses, what, what's the people that deliver babies? Whatever they are. <laughs> They're um, super common in SL. So you'll find a lot of like clinics and stuff. For me, when I set this place up, I didn't wanna make it very restrictive. I wanted to keep it as like a service focused thing. So anyone who works here to set up whatever services they want to offer, completely control their own clientele. Um, this is another one. If you work here, all you have to do is like message the Bayside roleplay group when you're working. It's also just good to network because a part of like Bayside overall, excuse me, health and fitness is huge and eating is huge in Bayside. So the clinic here is also completely zeo life enabled. So a lot of people who work here have like a rate card that includes how much your doctor's appointments are, if you want a pregnancy package, how much those are. Um, there are tip jars here. You could even be a receptionist here if you want and like kind of hang out and role play at the booth, help out the doctors or the nurses if you want to. Excuse me. Check if your girlfriend's alive. <laughs> My baby's never gonna grow up. What you mean? She She's that size forever. All of them are. Um, and again, so for Bayside Medical, you don't have to apply to work here. There, I know it's not res right now, but there's a sign here. It says click to work here. That gives you all the information that you need to work here. And there's also a training card over here. And it just tells you how everything works. 
Um, this is one where you do have to maintain an ad board because th this is where people can come to click to figure out what doctors they can work with. Um, and that should include like all the rates that you have, all the services you offer. Um, I see a lot of the people who work as medical staff here like pop in for certain hours throughout the week, although it does seem like they continue to network beyond that. So you can always message Bayside Roleplay Group. Um, there's also a Bayside Medical Group that you can message and let them know that you're available for appointments or walk-ins. I know I went in for my physical. So one thing in Bayside, we have Bayside City Insurance. So a very base level appointment we like to offer for free. That's, I think it's only like 20 minutes or so. I think most services are an hour. So that just kind of allows people to kind of meet you. Um, but that's it. Beyond that, go off. Charge whatever rates you want. We have some recommended rates just in case you don't know where to start or what to charge. But beyond that, you can charge exactly whatever you want to charge. And again, it's Zeo Life enabled, so it'll give people health. And also, if you're into Zeo Life, most of our city here is. You can also make like prescribe things. So they have a bunch of like vitamins and things. If your health stats are low, like Mila's right now, because I've been neglecting the hell out of her stats. So her health is super low. So I went to the doctor. Chanel was my doctor. She took care of me. And then I took vitamins for a couple of days to try to get Mila's stats back up. I'm gonna go to the Bayside Athletic. There's also a lot of cool places in Little Tokyo here. There's a convenience store. There's Otaku, which is all the way on the top of that building over there. I'll probably cam over there. I'm not going to try to walk in. Um, you could always bartend there. That's one that you don't need to apply either. You could just log into a tip jar. Um, there's a restaurant. I haven't opened it up yet over there. I might take it away because I think we ran out of frims. <laughs> I just got to get through. What just got requested? Phantom Sunset. We just checking out my hair's back as he moves. As he skips through lag. I'm gonna let this rest really quick. And then I'm gonna slow down. I feel like I'm, my throat? What's going on? <laughs> it hurts? And eat tea or something? I did go outside today. Now I'm getting paranoid. This is why I stay in my bubble. He is Nadia. Oh, so why this all reses? Let's talk about some of those other things. So a couple of things that have been cool in Bayside. So, or anywhere you live where you can res. I remember, I forget who it was. Was it Cell that had like a a spa, like a massage service. So she had, she was like a freelance massage therapist and she would basically res out massage tables. She could come to your home or she would take it down to the beach, res them out. Again, that's something that's completely in your control. You can charge what you want. If you live here, you have res rights. If you don't, it's not quite an option. Um, but for a Bayside residence, that's always an option that you could offer massage services. And another really cool thing, we have a Bayside City group, so you can always let people know. As long as you don't spam, that's the only thing we say, like don't send out multiple messages per hour, but sending like a role play message saying that you're like setting up on the beach or that you're available for in-home massages. And people actually role play massages. There are tons of massage tables and you could always role play like what your actions are and your conversation and really build a rapport with whoever your customer is. Um, those are always cool. Me, myself, I always book massages at spas or things for like me, Eugene, and Reyna to do together just because it's like something to do. Like, why not? So that's something like I would pay for here all the time. So, you know, that takes very little to set up, especially if you're a resident. I'm so big on Bayside residents being able to make money in Bayside. So please use the group as much as you want to. And the simple fact that you can res all of these special things down, go off, honey. Just clean up after yourself if you're in public. That would be so cool, Tasia. And I feel like it would fit so well into like this whole like athletic undertone. I've been putting out so many sporty things in Bayside. Cause it's really, it really is. It's a city of sports and food. <laughs> but, um, and we have that new pier. Like, can you imagine putting out a massage table on the pier, getting a nice little massage after a basketball game or getting, getting stretched out by Tasia? <laughs> we have something similar, Heartland. I'll show you. All right, that's still not res. So massage therapy or um, whatever is the thing. We also have all these commercial spaces. 
So let me go to the website real quick because we have a bunch of commercial spaces that are available. If you want it to have like a set place, say you don't rent in Bayside and you want to be offer massages, you can set up your own spa if you want it to. Um, you can set up your own hair salon or nail salon or anything. My hair, honey, are you okay? <laughs> but um, you can set up whatever you want. We have a bunch of storefronts. We usually recommend that they relate to like city living in some regard, like as a salon or as a spa or something like people that'll drive people to them. I've seen people open yoga studios, um, all types of things. Ignore the farmer's market stuff. <laughs> I don't know why that's showing up. But yeah, we have commercial places. They're for role play businesses primarily. But if you want an actual storefront, you could always do that. All right, let me see if I could cam in here. So this is our gym. This is a SML gym. So SML is a role play HUD within Second Life. This is another spot that has you can work here um you don't have to live in bayside to start working here you just need to like click the little there's an info card that tells you exactly what to do but if you use the sml hud usually that's the appeal because sml is a little complicated to get started with but it also encourages an actual like guided hudded workout so it's like a game um so people have SML trainers. So I know we have a couple in Bayside and they'll basically help you get set up with SML and they'll also just role play kind of being your training partner. I know my brother Graham does it. Graham is a pervert. So if you just know what you're getting into before you hire him. I might make my hair an actual personal trainer when we write him in because he's like a sporty dude. So I'm probably gonna make him a personal trainer. But there's also a whole Bayside athletics group. So if you start a Bayside business that's related to athletics or physical therapy you can join that group and you guys can all kind of communicate and meet up and do whatever you need life coaches would be cool also i've seen people just do like general yoga so even if you don't have a studio if you live here and can res i've seen people just invite people out like to go up on runyon to do yoga um i've seen like different fitness classes happening around the sim like it doesn't have to happen in a building or at a specific location you can like it's just think of it like a city like if you wanted to have a yoga class in the park you would go do that yes nadia thank you nadia fabulous idea you have to like really take action on your second life experience if you're having trouble meeting people go where the people are there are 1200 people on our discord server you could always just have host a cute little meetup wherever you want. If you don't have a place, drop by here. <laughs> hey, Pancake. All right, I can't really cam around much because I'm lagging so bad. But um, yeah, all the equipment in there, it's compatible with the SML HUD. So you actually earn different like experience points for working out. You get a daily workout to go through. You get all these different like supplements to work out. And it's just, it's a really fun thing to role play. And a lot of people like working out with other people. So like offering services as a trainer has been something that's been kind of cool here. I'm fabulous. How are you? I'm gonna camp up to Runyon just so you can see what I mean. So this is actually a mountain. I feel like it's a little hidden. So people don't often notice it's here, but it kind of leads to this little mountain park. And this is where I've seen people doing their little yoga classes. So you can always offer yoga classes. And again, you set the rates, you control it. You can charge whatever you want to charge. Um, excuse me. I've seen, I saw one person that was doing this who set up like a membership thing. Like you get four yoga sessions for a certain amount of money. Um, she was also a trainer at the gym. So it's really, it depends on how you want to kind of build your business around it. I would just really focus on what would make it fun and interesting and then figure out your pricing strategy and then start to meet people, start to share in Discord. We have three Bayside channels in our discord server so you could always promote there you can promote to the group um general rule for bayside if it's taking place in bayside you can use the group to promote it yeah pancake it's tough if you take your time though you're good <laughs> this is not rising either amaya you is that a joke all these palm trees, you didn't notice we were in Southern California and you were expecting snow? 
Um, Mama Alpha, most people use by, for pregnancy. I don't know what else. Oh, HUD, Wom Baby or something like that? Or I forgot, I think it was Wom Baby is what I used. <laughs> it ain't gonna snow in the middle of California. That's why, that's why we go on vacations. <laughs> we'll get Christmassy, there will be Christmas lights and things. Or like holiday-y. But there will be no snow in Bayside. Y'all don't want that lag here anyway. All right, I'm gonna cam down here to... <laughs> I'm gonna cam down to Mila's Cafe. This is another thing that I had before I had Bayside and I just kind of plopped it over here. Um, so there's no deep like role play story for it. It's honestly just a cute little cafe. There, this is where all the free Zeolife food is. So again, with Zeolife, you can have the choice to purchase food. I did put free food out here just in case you don't like want to buy things or have the means to buy things. You can always get a meal for free. And in here, there's actually um, a tip jar. So if you just want to come in here and offer services as a little like, um, what do I call it? Like a barista or something, you could do that. This is resident specific. You do have to be a resident here and wearing your residence tag to log in but no need to apply all you gotta do is log in and kind of get as creative as you want to you could also buy props if you want to um like trays and servers if you want to put things out temporarily just be sure to pick them up and clean up after yourself um i did pancake reina and i built it oh my gosh yes girl get pregnant get knocked up tis the season <laughs> Especially since Amaya is trying to freeze us in the snow. We'll take our ski trips. <laughs> All right, let me, let me move. Where else was I showing y'all? Oh. We have them um, in office here. It's like our city hall type office. I mean, it's really just an open office. So if you have a need that, or you do something role play like that needs an office, this is actually open for any of you guys to use. Um, originally it was gonna be like the mayor's office, but then we were like, let's just leave it general. If people need to have a business meeting, for some sort of business that they're conducting in Bayside, feel free to use this office. You don't have to live here. Um, if it's a business related to something in Bayside or something you're gonna offer in Bayside, feel free. I know someone was asking about like decorating and home decor. We have a bunch of ad boards at Landing if you wanna advertise your decorating business. Um, for something like that, that's not something we want you to spam like our role play group for, but you could always advertise at Landing if you need to like meet up with a client and talk about stuff, feel free to use this office, like go off. Honey, Nadia, I'm going to encourage you. What'd you get banned for? I want this to res because it's such a cute little office. I literally set this up to kind of look like the offices in Abbot Kinney. If you guys have been to like Venice in California before, they have all these really cute like store spaces, but like in between there's random offices and they're always like so chic and cute. Look at y'all making friends. Love it. <laughs> All right, I don't know if it's gonna res for me. I feel like I'm flying by this, uh, flying, like zipping through this information. I hope it's helpful. I hope it's like giving you some ideas. Um, thank you, Pancake. But there's so many possibilities with role play and like people are so interested in that type of gameplay in Second Life now that it really can be a really cool business. You just have to like make really smart moves. Another thing to note, if you rent business space in Bayside, so this weekend we're actually sending out notice to everyone. We're starting the Bayside Chamber of Commerce where we're gonna meet up once a month and really share business tips, best practices to really enhance your business and like answer anything. That'll be one-on-one -on -one with me, Reyna, and you guys. So if you do actually rent in Bayside, you can join the business, the Bayside Chamber of Commerce and you know, really, whatever. I lost my train of thought. 
This isn't rising, but it's a really cute office. I never finished upstairs. So just use downstairs for now. <laughs> Ariana helped me build that too. So shout out to Ariana. All right, let me cam out. I'm trying to get to the pier. Coolie coolie. Nope, anyone can rent an ad board. I'll, I'll jump up there before the end of it. Also, that's where I look sometimes to see people who offer like makeovers or things like that. We have just general ad boards, so you can kind of rent and promote any business up there. Um, down here, these are like residential slash commercial. So you could either live in one of these little hut things or you could have a cafe. This is where I get all my drugs in Second Life, this little cafe under here. Um, that's another really cool idea to me. Like she has a product, but you could also like have a product that you're selling and offer like some sort of role play. Um, but that's where I get all my Second Life drugs that we do. <laughs> and then up here, so I know the basketball court is brand new. When we have the tennis court here, so Graham was a trainer, he would also offer like tennis lessons. So you could always offer like basketball games to people or basketball lessons, I guess. That game is hard as hell. I can't beat it, so I can't help anyone out. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to score. I feel like it's cheating me. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Rare. Say no to drugs. Um, But this is the pier, so this is why I'm saying like you could totally have a cool little one. You could do a cool yoga session here. You guys could res like out yoga mats on top of this wooden area. You could offer massages up here. Um, we also have this concession stand. Currently, I don't have much out here, but I think what I'm gonna do is actually, people who are renting space in the market, I'm gonna invite them to also drop products here if they want to. <laughs> um, also, if you're like, um, actually, I might put tip jars over here for Vanderbilt employees. Excuse me. Because if you work in the Vanderbilt, I think I feel like it would be cool to also like serve small things out over here. I might add some serving options over here. I feel like that'd be cool. And then of course, like there's this like chill, this like real chill area. I don't know. I feel like y'all can get creative with that. <laughs> don't do drugs alone. Yeah, none of my textures have res. I'm just lagging really bad. There's a lot going on, and we're still on my low laptop. I haven't switched over to my computer yet. Yay, friendship! Come over and, like, hang out on the pier. Have a drink with Mahir. Mahir has not socialized yet, besides his boyfriends. Not boyfriends, but, like, male friends. I gotta say that before, like... Tony gets in his feelings. <laughs> oh yeah, we had the Halloween up here. I, I change this, the pier up quite often. I'll probably change it up again in a few months. So be sure to pop by and enjoy this while it's here. I love those. I did a video decorating the space and I linked everything that I used over here. Well, I didn't link it. I just wrote the name of it. Y'all gonna have to search because I didn't feel like finding links. <laughs> <laughs> what is LSG? LSG. My mind is going to LSD. Right? Mr. Lips was something else. No, Mr. Mouth. Mr. Pretty Mouth. <laughs> um, it just depends on how much. I can't remember what the minimum withdrawal amount is. So I don't know. I know like 50,000 Linden is like a couple hundred bucks. I asked the same question today, Nadia. I don't know where he is. I slid in his DMs like real inappropriate today. <laughs> I was in a mood, but um, so I don't know if he could be my hero's friend. <laughs> It'll depend on your system. Right now, my laptop is on its, it's, on its last day, so. All right, I wanted this to res, but it's taken a while because this actual basketball court is pretty cool. 
There's a note on the basketball court that says no flexi hair. I did not write that note. It came on the court. I haven't had time to cover it up yet. Y'all can have flexi hair. And now we just talking about Mr. Pretty Mouth. <laughs> I can't get this to res. But yeah, I can't think. What other roleplay businesses have you guys come across besides like... I feel like services are just really on the rise in popularity and it's a good time to get in and figure out what you want to do and figure out what services you want and how you want to form your business. What shade be? My laptop is on its last day. Literally, this is going to be the last stream on this laptop, so. It's okay. I can't say these things out loud, because every time I've said that this week, she's like straight up rage quit on me. It's okay, baby. I still love you. We're going to still play on you. We're just not going to stream on you anymore. <laughs> yeah, you can. For counseling, I would honestly recommend joining the Bayside Medical Group, because that's usually where people will probably go to look for it. Flexi hair is cute on some people. <laughs> oh, is that what we were talking about, Shade? Oh, there's also a bar. Let me go there. There's a beach bar. I forgot to tell y'all about bartending too. Bartending is like kind of role play, but you don't have to. A lot of bar people, uh, a lot of people tip bartenders just for conversation. Ooh, B, you and me both, honey. Heartland, it does. I've seen some people doing it better lately, so I guess it's getting better. I ain't been, I ain't ever been a flexi anything person. I'm scarred from 2000, whatever year I joined. <laughs> um, if you come to the sim, I'll drop a link before I leave. But this is a beach bar. This is another thing is similar to the food trucks. You could literally rent the space for 300 London a week and set up your business however you want to. If you want to take tips, if you want to charge for drinks, if you want to sell Zeolife products, if you want to, I don't know, whatever you want to do. Whatever your heart's desire. If you want to like offer jet ski classes, because <laughs> we also have jet skis down there that go all around the sim. So you you know how if you go on vacation, you see those bars that also have like your scuba gear next to it. Like you can do whatever you want. It's your it's your business. So do you boo? And it's one of those real cheap rentals that'll make you a resident. So if you want to also get creative and do other things around sim, like offer massages in places. You're a resident now, so you can res. What's stopping you? I also forgot to mention the taxis. So we have um, another group called Bayside Transport Service. You can become a taxi driver. I'm usually the person that takes the taxi rides because Mila likes to go to the bar here and then she likes to be too drunk to walk or to get home. So she orders a taxi. And you could one, either use your own car if you have a license because we do have like a licensing system. You have to have a license to drive in Bayside because we really don't want that many cars on the road. Um, there are like a hundred London a week. So you could have a license and be an Uber or you could for free, just come drive this taxi and people just pay you directly as a tip. I actually don't know Tara. Uh, so we see you. I'm gonna come magic mic it up. <laughs> I'm a voice with ladies too, as my hair. I sound, do I sound like a dude? Do I sound manly enough? I feel like if I just simmered down a little bit, they can't tell. Who could tell? Nobody could tell. Um, let me, I'm going to cam over to little Tokyo. There's like just, there's so many creative things you could do. Like even some of these spaces, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just toss tip charts out in places to kind of give you guys ideas of where you could work. We have a grocery store in here. It's not necessarily a role play business, but if you sell like items for BU or Zeolife, you could rent out a refrigerator or a shelf. I'm gonna do that soon. I haven't done that yet. A funeral home, I guess. <laughs> what do you do in real life, Heartland? Oh, counseling. I feel like that could be cool. Especially because I feel like there are some second life issues that could take some talking through sometimes. So it would be kind of cool. Hey, Pramila, we're just talking about role play things and we're going to see if Otaku reses. 
There is a bar inside, so you can always be a bartender. Um, you can always offer a bottle service. It's a real like chill little spot over here. I bet it's not gonna res for me. We're, we're just gonna hope this is my last laggy stream, but we're gonna power through it. That could be cool, Tasia. I mean, we don't have military here, like in this city, but we do have police. I don't know. Could you recruit for police? Cause we, we need some cops. We don't have any. <laughs> and we do have a position for a police chief. I just haven't seen anyone role play as a cop, so I haven't given it out. That would be so cool, Heartland. I would seriously recommend that for Bayside Medical. I think that would be real cool. I kind of fell off BU. I'm pro Zio now. So the city used to be BU, and y'all know how BU like BU stuff looks. So I started slowly snatching that up and replacing it with Zio life stuff. <laughs> And BU stuff is laggy. There's a couple of BU things around I haven't gotten rid of. There's also a gas station back there. It's more of a role play thing. Um, I don't think anybody's gonna pay you for gas that you can't give them. But this is the police station. I mean, you can, there's nothing to do to make money here, but you could always role play as a cop. All I gotta do is join the group and put on uniform. And then once you join the group, you actually have access to this police car so you can patrol to your heart's desire. And then like recruit for us. <laughs> oh, you're a cop? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna come get arrested. I arrested someone on Mila. I arrested someone and held them in the cell for like a few days. So every time they came back to the city, they went back to their cell and they were in there. And everything deal life, even in the jail, like you have everything that you would need to get your stats up in prison or in the jail, except for food and water. Someone would have to actually give you that. Oh yeah, we're not talking about adult stuff today. This is all like PG. No, zeal life stats, they're way easier to maintain in comparison to BU. Like I could theoretically leave Mila on all day, forget to touch them and she won't die. Like. They'll be lower, but they won't zero out. Like it takes a lot to zero out. All right. I'm just gonna go up to the landing. Oh wait. He chased me around with a gun and he ain't know who I was. I think I was, no. So he was a taxi driver. He was a terrible driver. Like we were role playing. I didn't really stiff him, but Mila didn't want to pay for a ride. Cause she was like, you're terrible. One, you have a bottle of Hennessy in your hands. I'm going to get out and leave. She was trying to go to Bayside medical. He got out with a gun and I was like, we're going to arrest you now. So yeah, I arrested him. <laughs> that was my crazy day in Bayside. Oh my gosh, William. There's one cell that I don't know how to open the door. Like someone else does because I see it open sometimes, but I don't know how to open it myself. All right, let me let things res it's smoother. <laughs> GTA Bayside, right? That's what I felt like. Oh yeah, that's BU Shallon. I am. Um, I wasn't about that life. <laughs> yeah, I held him in jail for days. And then I forgot what happened where I had to take him to witness protection. I think we just wanted to have some fun. But I took him to witness protection. <laughs> I had to escort him out. Don't judge me, y'all know my life. <laughs> Not a single texture this whole time. Well, the important texture is res. Alright, but this is the landing. If you have trouble getting around Bayside, I recommend grabbing this teleport HUD. It literally lists everything in Bayside that you can go to and teleport to. You can also use this blue teleporter. It'll bring you to specific locations. Or if you just want to land in like the main bus stop for the city, you could click that thing. 
It might be RLV Nadia. I really can't figure it out. Oh my gosh, William. We will be all over that bot. I'll be all over that bot. <laughs> um, but these, this is where, first of all, this is where your HUDs are. So if you want to get the ZL Life HUD, the SML HUD, they're here. I know you can't see it right now. Um, you know what? These aren't broad enough. I think that's why it's been confusing. But these are the ad boards right here. I'm going to take away the categories and just leave the ad boards. Because you can put up any ad board here. It really doesn't have to sit to this. I was just trying to like give people ideas of what we were interested in advertising. But if you do like decorating or whatever, um, you can advertise here. For these type of things, please don't spam our role play group. We want to really reserve the role play group for people that are like actively in the city. But um, this is a great place to offer services to people in Bayside. Like decorating is a huge one. Right now, Reyna gets all the requests for decorating. So if you have a skill set, come through. <laughs> uh oh, that's just my little room over there. So if you want, like, to keep up with me, this is my bot that you can IM. I do see her messages. I don't get to respond to everything all the time, but I see all her messages. But yeah, you can rent adwords there. We have rental stuff in the back room. So if you ever want to like see what rentals, honestly, I just recommend going to the Bayside website, but this has all the contact information that you need. This is also a subscriber because all of our rentals sell out so quickly all the time. You can always like click this thing and it'll sign you up for notifications. But there's lots of info here. Um, again, like role play services are so broad. You really could, you could be a part of multiple communities and offer services around them. That's what I used to do when I um, was waitressing, like on one of my alts, she worked at Faith and Flower, but she also worked at this other place called Foxy's and she worked on another sim at a restaurant. And basically between the three, she was just like building up a client list. She had different experiences all the time. It was just fun. So you can, I mean, role play services can be done anywhere. All right, let's go check out Hollywood. Let me see how I get here. Can I just put this in? I'm dead that B try to extort me for child support. Is this gonna be my life as a man here? All right, I haven't been here, but I want to check it out because I keep seeing pictures. But this is Juice Network. I feel like one day I'm gonna have to talk to you about exactly what y'all do. Because I feel like it looks cool. That would be fun. When I was building Bayside, I was thinking of it like, I want Bayside to be the game. <laughs> I don't have all that type of skill set to actually build a real game. All right, boyfriend, where we, where we going? Okay. Oh, don't go to the wall. Go out the door. <laughs> Me, I always struggle with doors. Don't close. No. My hair does not have a baby. <laughs> Hire some nerds. I would love to. Bayside's growing too, so I'm working on the second sim now. Oh, I forgot to drop the Bayside landmark. I'll drop that one, I'll drop this one. Alright. I'm 
am struggling to res today. I should have saved the city things for the new computer. This looks cool. This is feeling very Paramount, honey. You know, I used to work at Paramount. Alright. I kind of want to walk around, but I think I'm going to struggle. Hey, Tiffany! <laughs> I'm ending soon. I'm going to have to come back here when I have the good computer. I want to see these things. And I feel like I need I need more I need to understand more about the studio. Oh, they have a Hollywood sign. Where I live, you can see like the Hollywood sign like this much from where I am. All right, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all this place. Maybe Sunday. I think I'm gonna bring Mila back on Sunday. I wanted to give him here his full week, like a Saturday. I'm at a Sunday and a Wednesday type thing. So, yeah, I got a week of Mahir. I think we'll do that once a month. Like, it'll just be Mahir. And that way we can show men's clothes and then we can just hang out on Wednesday. I am a, I am highly offended. Y'all coming after Mahir for child support for this child he hasn't had. Mahir doesn't even have a man part to engage in these activities. Yes, Jenny. Let's um, let's try to schedule something. Uni, I haven't even plugged in the new PC, so it's right next to me. Um, there's a part of it that I haven't figured out how to open, and I was so excited. If you guys watched my last video, if you see how excited I was when I saw that it shipped, it was like ten times that when it got here. I actually have an unpacking video on Instagram. I freaked out. I was flipped out. I was excited. It looked like I fell in the box. And then I realized I had to open the glass to get some pieces out. Um, but I was being rough because I was so excited. And I was like, I'm break this. I need to take my time. I have some time this weekend. I'll spend all day Saturday unboxing and opening and making a video of it and showing you guys my desk setup. I'm super excited. And then on Sunday, we'll stream with it. <laughs> yeah, once a month, Tony. That's also when I'm expecting my Hevo item. <laughs> Oh, Brian, I forgot about the Jesus here. It low-key kind of clips him in the face and it doesn't fit his big old head. So I need to find more men's hair for him. It's been a struggle. But you guys, that is all I have for you. I really hope that was helpful. I hope it gives you some ideas. If you are interested in starting business in Bayside, feel free to hit up um, Zane Vanderbilt. You'll find her in Second Life. I'm gonna type her name down. But message her. She is a bot, but that goes to Bayside staff. They can help get you set up, help you kind of work through whatever ideas that you have for a business. And then you, you can meet with us once a month when we do our kind of Bayside Chamber of Commerce and come up with more ideas. Um, again, if you're someone that's looking to like kind of freelance your role play service and like use a bunch of different sims, I strongly recommend it. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's have an alpha. Mama alpha. I'm gonna have to we're we're gonna we're gonna get him equipped, honey. We have we have some fun days ahead of us. <laughs> we gotta get him man parts, mama alpha. He has to make his appearance on Vanderbilt Diaries. If you haven't seen that, I put a preview of the next episode of Vanderbilt Diaries. You can see Mahir in action, snowboarding and doing his thing. Check it out, honey. That's what I'm working on next. I do have a video coming out Friday, so be on the lookout for it. It's going to be a premiere, very likely at noon. But um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you have a fabulous night. I'm going to hang out in Bayside for a little bit after the stream. So if you're around, feel free to drop in and come by. Let me drop the link here because this place looks cool. Although I didn't, I can't see it. I'm going I'm to come back for a tour and try to check it out. So come check out Hollywood. It looks super cool. I'm always here for anything that looks like Paramount because they still have a place in my heart. All right. But you guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. <laughs> Bye. Bye, honey buns. We got a new name, y'all. Y'all are my honey buns. Love it. Learn to love it. <laughs>